So when you're looking to pick up a brand new PC, you're not thinking of fabrics or rounded edges or a slick design or even something like Bang & Olufsen Audio. Nope. You only get that with something like the HP Pavilion Wave Compact Desktop PC, which is what we have right here. And first of all, I want to thank HP for sending this over so we can actually check it out and give you guys our full thoughts. Now, the Pavilion Wave is a slick looking PC. It looks really great on your desk. It looks like something that uh, you get from a high-end store. And pricing is also relatively inexpensive. It starts off from a Core i3 to a Core i5. The Core i3 variant started at like 449. And what we have is a Core i5 variant that has a quad-core processor. You also have a plethora of ports, uh, power plug ports, HDMI, full-size display port, Ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports at the back, Thunderbolt. You also got a full-size SD card slot and the power button. But I really like how the fabrics just wrap around and make this look like something you would love to put even in front of your TV or next to your TV as say HTPC. It's got many functions in there. Now you also have the ability to add a one terabyte hard drive, or in this case, I do have a, a 256 gigabyte uh, M.2 SSD in there. So there's a lot of performance packed into this. Now, besides this the aesthetic look, it also comes with two accessories. Uh, this Bluetooth keyboard, really thin and, and light, as well as also a mouse. The good thing about both of them is once you take them out of the pack, uh, the packaging, and you turn them on, and you turn your, um, your Pavilion Wave, they actually sync automatically. Now, the, the mouse uses two, um, uh, two AAA batteries, easy to actually replace and use. And I found them quite effective. You know, I, you know, in terms of just typing, uh, they're a little low profile, but I got used to it and I could actually use this to game, which is pretty cool. Now, going back to our Pavilion Wave, I have to say though, uh, they've really done a good job because it also runs really quiet. You've got a quad core processor in there. You've got uh, some performance under the hood. And even though all the air is pushed up to the top, this does a really good job of staying really quiet while you're actually doing a lot of things on the system. Now, going back to that Bang, Bang & Olufsen audio, uh, there are a few settings that allow you to go in and you know customize your audio uh, settings for input and output, and for microphone, as well as also speakers. So you get the best experience possible. And as a user, you're really getting that clean audio. And I like the fact that the you know, HP's part partner with Bang & Olufsen to give you something that as a user, you know, it's really good and you're getting some really clean, crisp audio and I really can't complain about that. On the software side of things, it does come with a bunch of software uh, installed. You do have Amazon, you do have also 25 gigabytes with Dropbox installed, which is great. So there's online storage for there. Sling is also installed as well as Netflix. Now those are applications in Windows App Store. In terms of full-fledged software, I think only Office is installed, which you still have to activate. So uh, not a lot in terms of bloatware, but they do have one software that you can take advantage of. It's called HP Orbit. Now I was a little bit disappointed with this because I wish they did more. It allows you to quickly transfer photos and videos from your mobile device to uh, your PC and it's really fast. It's a very, very fast system. Now, I wish this also incorporated more of adding things like your notifications so that when you actually sit on your desk and you're using your PC to work, you can actually get information from your phone, like phone calls, missed calls, notifications, and things like that. But right now, the uh, the HP Orbit only handles transferring videos and photos. Now, in terms of videos, it does well in handling photo videos. This is a 4K video, which I transferred from my smartphone and I'm playing it here on my uh, HP computer, the Pavilion Wave. It handles that really well and it does a really good job in, in entertainment and, and handling things like that, as well as things like Netflix too. So you can of course watch your Netflix shows and thing and uh, uh, your programming with the HP Pavilion Wave. Now you're wondering how much gaming can I do? Uh, this is not a, a gaming rig because it doesn't really have a high-end graphics card, but a game like like Overwatch, you can play. Uh, this is set at uh, medium settings in Overwatch, and I was able to actually clock more than 30 frames per second. So if you're thinking about using this to do some really light gaming, there is no problem with this. It's a really efficient um, system, and also the keyboard actually performed fairly well for what it is. Overall, I do like the HP uh, Pavilion Wave uh, compact desktop. It brings in something new and different. I would like to see some models with maybe better graphics performance. 
but I think there is a range for people to pick up where it fits your style, it fits your uh, aesthetics. If you want to have a HD PC in front of your TV, this might actually work for you and you can get something that's really appealing. Now, if you guys want to pick this up, definitely use our Amazon link down below. If you're looking for our wallpapers, we have all the wallpapers, including that one that you saw on screen on our Pinterest page. So follow us on Pinterest. It is bored at work. You'll find them there. And any questions, guys, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.